ladies and gentlemen, I know many of you have already heard about this story about Treasure Bixby that only relates to white people and she is a black teenage girl. Now, I don't even care about Dr. Phil. I don't watch his show. You know, Dr. Phil at the end of the day does not care about the mother or this girl treasure because for him, it's all about ratings. See, he got to be in the limelight this week for having the mother and this really lost daughter on his show. So for him, it was gaining big ratings in mainstream media and in social media. So for him, he already got his little reward out of it, but he doesn't care. He don't give a damn about either one of them. My problem is mainly with the mother. The mother married a racist and she allowed him to have access to her daughter and be in the household long enough to teach her racism, the same kind of racism that is taught to a white child. So if nothing else, ladies and gentlemen, we see a blueprint through this black child of how it's done. We all knew that it begins in the household. We all knew this, but we get to see it and hear the kind of things that are taught through the mouth of this teenage girl. She's revealing the whole thing. The way I see it, she has been failed all the way around. Her mother has failed her and did nothing to educate her child on the reality of what it's like to be a black person in America. So her mother is a complete failure. The school system is obviously another failure. This child is not receiving any good education all the way around. I don't understand how a black mother sees this going on in her house and she does nothing to stop it. She act like she's totally helpless when it comes down to her child. And that's just a sign of very bad parental skills. You know, she has let her teenage daughter run amok. All this time, 16 years is a long time for you not to create, you know, make any corrections in this behavior. You know, it, it, it's like, she's not prepared for the world at all. She is a black female in America and completely unprepared for the racism that she will face throughout her life. When she really comes in contact with a Caucasian, whether it's a man or woman, don't matter, and get her real dose of racism, she may actually have a breakdown. Oh, it's coming. She's 16 years old. She's not far off from being an adult. I met black people from all over the country when I went to college.
and many of them got their wake up call in college. I met a black guy in college and he and I ended up becoming very good friends. And he told me that he dated white girls when he was in high school. When he came to college and saw all of the racism, he left them alone and started dating the black girls on campus. That woke him up. And treasure will be woken up too. Wait until she faces a racist issue and none of her white friends will be there to support her through it. Oh, it's coming. Because you know what? They're gonna pick a side and it won't be hers. We know how it works. And not to mention all of the black people she's gonna catch hell from, just from having this identity problem going on. Now she may say she really don't care and she probably don't because a lot of the backlash is primarily in social media. She may get some in person, but it's probably minimal. But that's going to change. It's not going to be that way forever for her. Unfortunately, in the Black community, some of us can be taught about racism and we really do get it. And some have to go through the school of hard knocks because there's no getting through to them any other way. And another thing, you know, Coons, they only survive, ladies and gentlemen, because they ignore racism. They go through their whole life. They, they face it. They face it, but they go overboard trying to ignore it and act like it's not a non-issue. Now, some of them will wake up because they realize as it starts getting greater and greater around them, they snap out of it. You know, we all wake up at different times. Some of us wake up in childhood. See me, I woke up in childhood. Some people have to reach their teens or even adulthood before they actually snap out of it. I have seen men and women go all the way into their 40s and then all of a sudden that light bulb comes on and they're like, oh my goodness, I, I can't deal with this anymore. And some of us may wonder, well, what took you so long? We all learn on different levels. We all grow on different levels. And some don't grow at all. They will go throughout their entire life identifying with nothing but white people. Some people are like that. We've seen them. And ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see these people from now until the time you reach the graveyard. They're always going to be here. But treasure is like this because she didn't get good guidance throughout her life. It should have been a black mother or even a black father or some black relatives. I mean, she got to have black relatives that sat her down, 
and teach her the reality of what life is for Black people in America. She has been failed by everyone around her. And she's going to pay the price for that. There is no way she's going to go around white people and claim she is white and not face a lot of venomous racism behind that. It will catch up to her. It will happen. And if her mother allowed this level of self-hate happen under her roof, then you can best believe she has never prepared this child for real, true racism in this country that happens on a daily basis. She allowed, I just can't get past the fact that she allowed a white man to come in her house and do this to her daughter. She allowed that shit. And then went on Dr. Phil's show and sat there and looked all pitiful. Like she had no control. Or she could not have done anything. Oh, I, I, I tried. No, you didn't. You didn't try. Because if you tried, she wouldn't be like this. No, you didn't. In the moment that white man under your roof started teaching her that, the only thing you should have done next was throw him out on the streets head first. That's what you should have done. You should have ended the relationship instantly when he started teaching your daughter this kind of stuff. And the fact that you didn't end that relationship says it all right there. Treasure and her mom, they're not going to have another peaceful day. And Dr. Phil, he just earned some great ratings, y'all. That's really the moral of this story. But I'm going to go ahead and play this video. Yeah. Start this video, I'm going to address a few things. First of all, for the people who are saying I'm not a real person, voila, I'm as real as it can get. And second of all, before um, whatever you guys want to call it, kind of my first little thing that I've ever done that was kind of prejudice, which is not, it's not prejudice. I don't really feel like it's prejudice. Well, I did lock a girl in a cage before because she was African-American descent. And it was, be, it was for my own personal reasons. I don't feel like I have to really get into that, but I do have a picture of it. Um... But yeah, I mean, I locked someone in a cage before because they're, they're monkeys, you know, if you, that's where they belong. And I did it. So but to number four, if you could have every black person segregated from white people, why would you? And why? Um, well, honestly, I feel like black people really do have a bad effect on the economy. They raise taxes, you know, you got to help the poor. You guys know, know about Medicaid? It all is forced for poor people. Like, why do you guys have to be that poor where you guys can't even handle you guys' own bills like you really can't even afford to pay your hospital bills people have babies and they rely on medicaid like are you, are you a responsible person is that really what you're like trying to accomplish in your life anyway but black people have such a huge effect on the economy they're not white people they're not i don't see them as real people i'm going to be honest with you guys and the fact that they really are out here putting such a bad effect on royal no, no, rural neighborhoods. That is just so sad. 
If you put a black person in a nice neighborhood, guess what's going to happen? Your house is going to get broken into. Like, uh, no, like I just couldn't do that. And I don't understand why people feel like we have to mix everything in with each other. Like that's completely pointless and it's absurd. And I don't have time for that. And it's actually getting me kind of mad thinking about it. So I'm just going to let this question go. So five, is Kim Kardashian a role model to look up to? Well, honestly, I don't feel like Everyone can have their own role models. Everyone can have their own opinions, their own views, and everything like that. So if my role model isn't the same as yours, then you have the right to, you know, have anyone. If you want to look up to fucking Jesus Christ, you can. It doesn't matter to me. But honestly, I feel like, well, um, she is a perfect role model. She is one of the most self-made billionaire. She's best friends with our president. She married Kanye West, which also, you know, I don't like black people, but Kanye West is such a open-minded, soulful person that you have to respect her. Do you not care about hurting people's feelings? No, no, I don't. I really don't. And I think the fact that I got so much like angry black bitch backlash proves the fact that black people are violent, they're un incoherent, they're ignorant, they're uncivilized. They're just everything that's wrong with the motherfucking world. And it's crazy because they showed their ass and they showed exactly what I meant. So they proved me right and they didn't realize that they proved me right. So I don't know if they're just retarded or if they're just like really fucking stupid. And I honestly believe that they're really fucking dumb. But no, I don't care about her about hurting people's feelings and i hope that i hurt people's feelings i hope i hurt your mom's feelings you're seven beyonce is such an inspiring person why do you hate her so much well honestly i mean i never said i hate beyonce i just feel like you know how black people don't do much for society so when one of them do something for society they all try to just like go and claim that they like are with them and that they love them and it's only because they're black beyonce is a Beyonce is a talentless bitch and people love her just because she's black and she knows how to shake her ass which is the only thing black people are really good for like strippers they're all strippers so it's a public stripper listen to black music I don't like black rap I don't like black singing. I don't like any of that soulful gospel bullshit they all love. It's absolutely trash. Their music is horrible. Beyonce is horrible. And um, everybody who listens to her is just utter garbage trash. And they all are just like one of those follower people that are just following the trend for today. Honestly, I have um, one thing to address. I'm not an actor and I never will be. And my opinions will never be shut down by you low life 